So the Google TV streamer is more of a replacement from the Chromecast. It has some upgrades to it that are nice, but there are some cavettes and some extra costs that kind of get included with this. But the first thing you're gonna notice with this upgrade, if you choose to grab a Google TV streamer, is the remote. Yeah, I know it's weird to talk about the remote first, but honestly, that's kind of what you interact with with these type of devices. And the menu can be nice or whatever, but if that remote doesn't feel good, it kind of hurts the experience. But I'm glad to say here that this is a much improved remote with a slightly different layout. So you're gonna have to, if you're used to a Chromecast with Google TV, you're gonna have to kind of readjust your muscle memory with this here. Because one of the great things that he did is that he moved the volume buttons to the top of the remote from the side of the remote. I used to hate that they were on the side of the remote. Just felt very awkward to do that there. But they've also moved some other buttons around, such as the home button, the Google voice button for uh, being able to do voice search. They've added a new little sort of custom button at the bottom where you can set that as input, which is what it was before. But you can also set it to the Google Home if you wanna manage your Google Home app or whatever other custom app that you wanna be able to use it with. You can set that button there for that. And it's a little bit longer so of a remote too, so it feels a little bit better in the hand overall. This is where I think is one of the key improvements has been the remote here. Now, obviously the next biggest change is the TV streamer itself, but just now a set top box and no longer a dongle, which we saw with the Google Chromecast. Now, one thing I really like is that they did add a gigabit ethernet port to this. This is great for those of us that love to be able to plug in the streamer content because that gives you the best connection available. I really like having this. This is one of the key features I really liked. They did put an improved processor inside of here that supports the Fumero Codex. It's still not like the latest and greatest processor, but it does create a better experience coupled with that four gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of additional storage. This makes Google TV flow so much more fluid and smooth than it has on the original Chromecast. But the original Chromecast wasn't super slow, but you can tell it could get bogged down after a while in comparison to on here with the, with the Google TV streamer, it is vastly a better experience in terms of navigating the menus and just the response time and the smoothness, especially with apps like Plex as well, which can kind of have notoriously be a little bit laggy at times. It's been actually very smooth to be able to use it on here with the Google TV streamer. Now there is an additional button in the back, which is the Find My Remote button, which I'm actually happy for that because I've lost my Google TV remote quite a few times and having that button to be able to just tap on it to find the remote, I think is a really cool feature. Now where I think they made some big misses here is not including Wi-Fi 6 or 6E in here. They didn't do any improvement to the Wi-Fi. Also, no ability to add additional storage to this is still disappointing. Nothing like a SD card slot or a USB port to be able to expand on the storage. That would have been nice to kind of get a little bit on that if you want to play files locally. Now there is some hidden cost here because this is no longer a dongle. You're going to need an HDMI cable to be able to plug this into your TV. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with the one inside the box. It's a little disappointing, so you're gonna have to add that to the cost here. There's also no ethernet cable that comes with it as well too, so if you wanna take advantage of ethernet cable, you're gonna have to buy that as well. So plan to spend anywhere from an additional 20 to maybe 50 bucks, depending on what type of cables you get, quality of the cables. There's all sorts of prices around for that, but do add that into the cost of the product because it's, while it's $100 right now, as of this video, there's a little bit more to it that you have to spend to really get the full experience. If you have a Chromecast with Google TV right now and it's working well for you, you're probably okay right now, unless you want that wired connection, unless you want that additional storage and you do want that faster experience and willing to pay the extra money for the cables and whatnot, then I would say that's worth the upgrade and for those folks that have a Chromecast with Google TV currently. I'm hoping Google down the line releases maybe a pro version of this and just gives us a little bit more with it. But for right now, I would say it's a device I'd recommend, but make sure you need it for the specific causes that you need it for. Don't just go and just spend the money just to get the newest thing. But let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.